Hello my dear friends and welcome back to this new video. In this video, I will be sharing some free tools and resources that you can use as a web developer and these tools and resources will make your life a lot easier. When I started out to learn web development, I didn't know about these tools and hence my learning was not effective at some points. But in this video, I will be sharing all these tools that I have been using since quite a while and I am really liking these tools a lot. So let's know them one by one in this video. So friends, the first tool in this list is ChatGPT. ChatGPT is an extremely helpful AI tool that you can use to understand anything related to your tech stack. Let's say that you want to know anything related to a CSS property. So you just have to write that down in ChatGPT and ChatGPT will have an explanation for that. And let's say in that explanation, if you are getting any doubt, you can ask that as well and it will explain you that also. A few days back, I was trying to understand something related to image components in Next.js and I used ChatGPT for that. And the kind of explanation that I got, that was really amazing. So if you are a beginner, you must be using ChatGPT and use it as much as you can till it's free. If you are having any doubt, use ChatGPT. If you are getting any error, use ChatGPT to solve that. And, and if you want to know anything in general, use ChatGPT. The next tool that will help you a lot is Git and GitHub. What are Git and GitHub? These are version control tools. Means you can manage the version of your code, the version of your project. If you don't know what is GitHub, it is a place where you can host your code online on the internet and other people can see it. GitHub is where you can collaborate with other developers. And if you, if you want to work in open source, you will have to learn GitHub. You know, how to collaborate with other developers, uh, how to raise a PR and uh, all these things you will have to learn related to GitHub. If you have already learned HTML and CSS, the very next thing that you must be learning is Git and GitHub. It will help you a lot. And besides that, there are two other utilities we can say, and these are GitHub Copilot and GitHub Pages. GitHub Copilot is an, another AI tool that can help you auto-complete your Git, uh, sorry, not Git, your code. And, uh, and GitHub Pages are where you can host your static websites for free. So these are two very helpful tools that you can use as a developer. The next very helpful tool is Netlify. It is one of the best free hosting service providers and you can use it to host your websites for free, especially the small and static websites. If your website involves some server side code, then it might not be a best place to host your websites. But if you want to host a website that is just static website, then it is definitely the place where you want to put your website. And I can't even recall how many of my websites are hosted on Netlify. It is that amazing. I use it all the time. So if you have made any project, let's say HTML, CSS or JavaScript project, just put it on Netlify and you can use it to show everyone. The next tool, which is basically an advanced version of Netlify is Vercel. Vercel is also a free hosting service and you can use Vercel to host your React applications and Next.js applications. And one of the best things that I really like about Vercel is that it provides an inbuilt functionality of writing environment variables. These variables will be reflected in the build process and there is no need to make a .env file as such, right? So th this is one of the best things about Vercel and it is, uh, it is a free hosting service provider and I think I have two applications already deployed on Vercel. So do give it a try. All right, the fifth tool is Firebase. I have been using Firebase extensively since the day I got to know about it. Firebase has some of the best backend services and it means that let's say if you have a React application and you want to host your data somewhere on a database let's say and for that you will have to build a separate backend server which can interact with database. But if you don't want to do that you can use Firebase. 
because Firebase has something called real-time database where you can host your data and you can just give an API call to that database and fetch that data or work with that data. You can even modify that, delete that, insert data over there and you can do all the backend things related uh, to a normal backend server using Firebase. And it also has free storage services. It also provides authentication and, uh, and, and there is free hosting as well on Firebase. It is an amazing tool and you definitely want to try that out. The next very helpful tool and not actually a tool but a complete toolkit in itself which is Chrome DevTools. And uh, I will say that uh, I will admit that uh, I was ignoring to learn Chrome DevTools since a very long time. But, uh, but when I finally took that hard call of learning Chrome DevTools, I found them very helpful, very, very helpful. And I will suggest to every beginner that yes, you must learn Chrome DevTools in the beginning itself and that will 10x your productivity. And uh, you know, there are so many helpful tabs in Chrome DevTools, which includes Lighthouse, Performance, Networks tab, and how I could forget my best friend, my console. I have no idea how I would have resolved JavaScript errors if there was no console. <laughs> Just kidding. But learning Chrome DevTools will be extremely beneficial for you. And you, you must learn Chrome DevTools in the very beginning itself. All right, now I want to share some free resources that you can use as a developer in your next project. The first free resource is Unsplash and FreePick. If you want free images and illustrations, you can visit these two websites. And if you want some free image or free videos, sorry, then you can go to a website called C-O-V-E-R-R -R, cover. And uh, for icons, you can use Font Awesome and Box icons, amazing icons. And uh, if you want some great color palettes, then you can visit website called Coolers. And, uh, and if you want some design inspirations like me, I need these inspiration all the time, then you can go to websites like Pinterest and Dribble. There is one more website called Behance and yes, one more called Awards. I don't use Awards that often, but Dribble and Pinterest are my go-to websites for design inspirations. So these are some free tools and free resources that you can use in your next project. Thank you so much friends for watching this video till now. I hope that you found this video helpful and if it was some help then please give me a like and subscribe to my channel. I will be uploading more such videos in the future.